the spoilers for One Piece Chapter 1129 have been released, and after seeing them, I can tell you that the chapter isn't all that great. It's a short chapter, and not much really happens. In this chapter, we find out about the identity of the fake sun god, like who he really is. We also discover how the straw hats his ship, the thousand sunny disappeared. That's pretty much all that's revealed in the spoilers for now. The leaker is saying that this chapter is good, so you should wait for the full release. Let's see what happens in the chapter when it comes out on Thursday. If you want to see it, make sure to subscribe to the channel, and in my opinion, we may have to wait a few more weeks for better chapters since Oda is likely busy with the live-action One Piece series. So let's start with the spoilers. At the beginning, we're told that the cover story returns to Yamato. Yamato is meeting Otama and Shinobu in Kiri. These people live in Kiri and they are meeting there, though it's unclear why. As you know, a lot of serious stuff is going on there, like kidnappings and disappearances. We'll discuss the cover story in the chapter, but for now, let's move on to the chapter itself. The fake sun god, who we now know the identity of, captures the straw hats in a large iron net or web. He thinks he's caught them, but Zoro and Sanji duo up to fight, which is always exciting. They use their strong attacks to tear apart the net, which is expected after Zoro and Sanji save everyone. Naimi figures out the map and how to navigate through Lego Kingdom, understanding exactly where they need to go and in which direction. A flashback reveals that the fake sun god is none other than a man named Rode. Now let me explain who Rode is. Rode used to be a member of Hajru Den's crew before Hajru Den joined the Straw Hat Grand Fleet. Hajru Den is the captain of the sixth ship of the Grand Fleet and Rode worked with Buggy before joining Hajru Den. However, when Hajru Den decided to join Luffy's Grand Fleet, Rode refused and left the crew, which is why he's now become this fake sun god. So you now know who the fake sun god is. Also, the Thousand Sunny had suddenly disappeared, and let me explain how that happened. In the previous chapter, a snake and a large crow attacked the Straw Hats. Zoro had killed the crow, and that crow called Mugen brought them to the Sleeping Mist area, where the mist makes people fall asleep. The Straw Hats had been drinking and were unconscious because of it, or Mugen may have captured them after they passed through the area. We'll find out more in this chapter. The fake sun god, Rode, is chasing the Straw Hats as they try to escape. Nami uses Zeus to launch a massive thunderbolt attack on Rode. Then Luffy uses Gear 4 to punch through a wall, and the wall shatters. This wall may be the one they need to break through to get away. There's no break next week, and that's it for this chapter. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, goodbye.